Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Here we are at the Church of Repost. Um, I think what we're gonna do today, initially, is try to progress here with the main story. There's one other sort of major location that we can go to. I spent some time exploring this place, which you will see in an Elden Ring explorations. Probably, I don't know, in the next couple of days, probably tomorrow. Uh, this castle. Castle Soul. So there's that place as well. Uh, but this really does feel like this place really does feel like the intended way. I mean, we're assuming, like, I'm assuming we're going towards that. Like, the Melina dialogue and all that shit really points towards uh, sort of that goal. And they really are throwing. Sides of Grace that you like no tomorrow. I did not think that was gonna do damage. Sorry about that torrent. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and sort of explore the the rest of this place. One thing I wanna do is we need to craft more of that stuff that heals torrent. Yeah. Uh where the hell is it? There it is. Because there's a stronger version of it too, but Apparently I don't have the ingredients for that. Still, it's okay. What I can do is switch this out. Actually, no, don't switch it out because I only have four of the stronger stuff. <laughs> oh, here it is. Awesome. The giant skeleton. That is, I assume, like I said, is a statue. Yep. Something like that was bound to happen. Jesus, you're difficult to control, Torrent. What the hell is going on? Did you see that, like, giant explosion? Oh god, we're like... Can I... Thank you, thank you. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Was that a spell casting? Oh, no, 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 he's throwing. He's throwing shit. Okay, never mind. I was like, oh, that's a cool giant. Or troll or whatever. He's throwing stuff. I mean, he's casting magic, but he's actually just throwing stuff. I have a feeling I don't want to get hit by this. Okay, you guys have a lot of HP. I did get a golden seed, which I think, I think is now enough for me to level up. Oh yeah, by the way, courtesy of the previous Elden Ring Explorations episode, which you're gonna see, uh, I do have some cool new armor. This is probably my favorite armor set and fashion I've worn so far during this playthrough. It's the finger Vikes set, basically. <laughs> I just say Vikes set. Uh, and then I have the Confessor Hood as an accompaniment. It just matches, you know. It just matches pretty well, so yeah. And I'm still getting shit thrown at me. Interestingly, there don't really appear to be any sort of like actual dungeons and stuff here. Weirdly, there's that blue. What the hell is that? Again, like I'm debating how much it's worth fighting these guys. Because they don't drop a lot of runes, but they sure as hell have a lot of HP, so... You know, sort of the cost-benefit doesn't really add up. It's really interesting, so we had those enemies that sort of were casting these thorn-type spells. They're kind of like pyromancers. Did the sound just glitch? 
Did you hear? Okay, I, I couldn't. I couldn't have been the only one that heard that, right? Strange. So yeah, I assume these giants got their asses handed to them by that magic spell, or like, or like those magic casters, or whatever. I know, I know. I'm. Oh, hello there. I really didn't expect you guys here. This is yeah okay time time to <laughs> time to get off torrent like really oh is it just gonna lead back to the start I have a feeling it might a very strong feeling although there might be some like treasure that I missed yep this better be something good. Crimson World Bubble Tear. Yeah, I haven't checked my flask. What the? Okay. Fair game. Fair game. Why are you so aggressive? That thing did surprise me. This is a good an enemy design. I do like these things. Again, it kind of feels like the natural evolution of that weird hand hippo from Dark Souls 3. Although a hand hippo was... Oh, nice. Was this like their ringleader or something? Ring. Ringleader. Foot of the forge. That's gotta be it. It's gotta be it. I'm gonna check my... Flaskies because... I haven't done it in a while. So what do we have? HP, HP. We have significantly negates damage. That is a good one. Eliminates all FP consumption. Jesus. I assume for a short period. Converts damage received into HP. Restores HP when near death. Oh, is that like uh, what you call a second chance? That might be a good one. Because I have temporarily raises HP. And that's kind of a shitty one. But which one do I want? I definitely want the stamina one. Let's see if I don't have a stronger version. Mm, no, I don't. Oh, before we forget, I think... Fuck. Okay, never mind. I don't know how many flasks you can have in this game. I actually never looked into it. What is it usually like? I don't know, 15? I guess 15, so I'm still missing quite a few of these. Oh, well shit. No, 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 there is a way across. Okay. I was about to start bitching. There is no need for that. Why do I feel like I'm gonna... Fire Giant? What the... Oh no. He's very big. Shit. That's not what you do. Fire Giant? Jesus. What the... Are you stone game? I assume this is a horse boss fight. Oh fucking hell. Hit his feet. Did he just fall over? Oh. Is that his weak... F oh no. Oh no. Yeah, lead him away from... Shit. <laughs> He's one of those. He's one of those. There is like... Why is there rocks and shit in the arena? Like... No. Just, just no. No to rocks and all that. Yeah, okay, he doesn't like his foot being fucked up. So that's his weak foot. How much HP does this guy have? What the hell? I mean, he is the fire giant. Oh no! Okay. 
That's that same spell that asshole used in the Everjail. Okay, I can already tell this. there's gonna be like mad glitchy stuff happening. Let's see if we can bleed him. Oh, oh no. You can. Still doesn't do damage. Ah, oh, he's fun. Like I mean, he's good. I like this guy. Didn't even get a good look at him. He's just like a weird ginger giant, uh, green giant, except for I don't know, kidney beans or something. Um. Yeah, that's. There should be a rule against putting, like, outcroppings and rock formations and all that in a giant boss's arena. Like, it just... Okay, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't. It just messes with everything. So what I'm probably gonna do is try to get him, like, towards down here, if I can point. Uh, because there's more flat ground here. Like... Like, th that area he's walking towards. Fire giant. Okay, so you you can jump that with torrent. That's what you gotta do. Jesus, this is gonna take a long time. See, just... Now he's there, and it's just it's just messed everything up. Is he using like? Is he reaching into his stomach for? Okay, that is a big explosion. I'm trying to lure him towards me, and that's not gonna stop, is it? Oh fuck! Yeah, I was gonna say, Torrent, you better get out. Oh no, I better get out. How the hell did that all miss me? I did waste two flasks like an asshole. Come on. It's gonna have some shit. I'm gonna get flattened. Yep. <laughs> Oh man, oh. <laughs> I dealt like no damage to him either. Fuck, I forgot to pick up. Oh, that was 40k. I'm so stupid. Uh, oh well, I don't think having one more level would have like done too much. I keep going the wrong way here. In a Souls game, you see like 90% of the time you see a boss's crotch ass or feet. I feel like no boss better exemplifies this than this guy. Like, this is pretty much feet city, so... You probably got Dan Schneider's favorite boss right here. Um, allegedly. Don't get sued, Mr. Sketchhead. You do not have the money for a lawsuit. And yeah, Torrent is dead, by the way. He's got like weird ass like legs. Yeah. I gotta watch for Torrent because... Is he? Yeah, okay. So what we need to do is we need to trigger this. Yep. What the... Are oh, fucking kidding me? So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. He has combos. He has cambos. I'm gonna get my zero runes. I still don't know if I should be on torrent or not for this guy. What the actual fuck? 
His shit is like very difficult to avoid actually. You'd think a giant ass enemy like this would be like damage city. And Torrent is dead again, so... It's just difficult to see what he's gonna do. Like, whatever, what I'm doing is... I'm just getting in as much practice as I can. Yeah, because there's no way you're fast enough without Torrent to uh, to avoid that. I don't even know what he's doing. <laughs> he's so goofy. He's very goofy. Like, with his rolls. He's rolling like us, except he's absolutely massive. Wh I, I knew it. He's going to have some stupid second phase. I already know. I know how th these things go. Oh, did he mess up his... Oh, shit. Okay, I kind of feel bad for him now. He's like an old grandpa. You don't want to hurt him. What the shit is he doing? <laughs> oh, no. He's gonna have his leg as a club. What a crazy motherfucker. This guy definitely listens to, to Norse metal. Or Viking metal. His hands are messed up. Oh no, don't tell me his hands. What? The hell is that? He has a face on his chest. <laughs> oh shit. Get away. He's gonna do some crazy shit. No, he's not. He is. Can we get some damage in? Whoa. What the hell? He's like a volcano. I assume his leg stump is still the... The weak spot. Oh no, his hands are probably... Yeah, because he's... Yeah. Okay, this is more of like a torrent phase, it seems like. Because this weirdo is like... He's getting like fire attacks and shit. I'm dealing like no damage to him. Or does he lose his weak spots though, because... He's strong. I'm see I'm doing better than I was anticipating for how like messed up that first phase was. Yep, 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 yep. That has more range on it than you think. Yeah, they definitely intend to, for you to use torrent here. Like just the nature of his attacks. Is he going to blow? No, he's not. Yeah, trigger that. Yeah, like... No, his hands are the weak spots here. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I don't think you want to be hit by that. Oh shit, did I get him? I definitely could have, like, hit his eye or something. I assume that does, like, massive damage. It's just gonna take a long time like this because horse combat is kind of jacked up in this game. But to be fair, I've not been, like, hit, actually. <laughs> I assume though he could wipe you, 
Like, he really seems like he has those types of attacks. You know what? I'm gonna use this. Told you. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. I was doing really well. I knew... I Fuck, I shouldn't have said it. I said... I knew he was gonna have that type of attack, like where he's just gonna absolutely mess you up. And lo and behold, he did. So you gotta be real careful in phase two. I don't think there is a spirit summon that could help here. Um, I don't see like what I could even use. Probably something with ranged attacks, probably. I'm saying probably a lot. Yeah, this this guy takes a long time, so I'm gonna edit out this first phase. Okay, that that went a lot better. Um, somehow, and I don't know how, I found a spot where he could barely hit me. Um, if I'm gonna have to do this again, I'll try not to die. But if I do, <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna find that spot again. It was really good, like... It was next to his feet. I don't know if it was due to like the position he was in or whatever, but he just couldn't actually hit me uh, So Yeah, more of that please Nice. Can't see shit sometimes. Yeah, I have a lot of flasks, so I'm not taking too many risks here. I don't like that he's against the corner. I really don't like it. He's like strangely difficult to move too, like... He has that roll, but he always... Fuck, is he just keeps rolling into the corner. Oh shit. Please don't do something stupid. I need to like... I need to get him to come over here more, because that is like... A really, really bad position for him to be. Ah. See, he knows. He's using that thing to his advantage. He has so much HP. It's unbelievable. No wonder people exploit bleed all the time in... Ouch. I, I, okay. You had to follow me, didn't you? No, no, oh, fuck, wrong thing. Oh, he's... Oh, thank fuck Torrent is not dead. Making noises like an anime character. <laughs> but, like, holy shit. His leg isn't actually a weak spot. My nose is itching. Please don't do something stupid. He's gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna need to trigger that somehow. Thank you. He, he barely has any HP, but when it's this guy you're talking about... This game has some of the like most ridiculous HP out of any souls bosses like for sure is that his big explosion yeah yeah it is oh is it I should have taken more no
Just the thought that he could wipe you at any time. Yeah, it was something like that. Die. No. Oh, the fucking cute action. It's one hit. Yes, he's dead. Holy shit. That was a very unique boss. A very, very unique boss. I liked it. Again, probably the biggest, and I've said this before with the dragon fights as well, probably the biggest hurdle these like big enemies have in Souls games is always the goddamn camera. It's always, always the camera. But this guy was, uh, this uh, he kind of worked actually. Uh, cool. The fire giant is a survivor of the war against the giants. Upon realizing the flames of their forge would never die, Queen America marked him with a curse. O trifling giant, mayest thou tend thy flame for eternity. Interesting. So he was like, uh, did we just kill the last member of a race? God, we're dicks. That's a dick thing to do. This is very cool. The skybox and everything. And this game is sharp looking. Compared to all like the wonky stuff in Dark Souls 3, like the weird horizon and all that, this game is just very, very tightly presented. Forge of the Giants. Um, we're not supposed to... Are we supposed to go into the middle of that? That looks like death. I'm not gonna lie. That does look like death. But we are on top of the world. Literally. So we might as well take a quick look around, right? That earth tree is gigantic. Like, look at it. So cool. Can we level up? Hell yeah. It's two levels. <laughs> it's two levels and that's it. Shit. Um, I'm gonna get to 55 HP and leave it at that. I'm assuming. You can see it pretty well from here. Is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Very well. No other way to go but forward. For but a moment. She's gonna die, isn't she? Like they've been prepping us for this. Damn. Roofied. Interesting, does she have burn marks on her hands?
for guiding me here. The one who walks alongside Flay shall one day meet the road of destined death. So she is actually dead, isn't she? She sacrificed herself. That's really cool. Finally they included like a proper like a game. We have a Souls game where the maiden actually does something meaningful. What the hell? Oh, it's that area that we saw. That we initially saw. What the hell is this place? You can see the earth tree in the background. And it's not burning just yet. There's dragons everywhere. Does it have crumbling from Farum Azula? Oh shit. So we've not set the earth, earth tree on fire just yet. I'm guessing we need to do other stuff before. That thing is definitely alive. This is, yeah, I like this. I like, again, because, you know, they've been sort of slowly amping up what the maidens do. I mean, the one in Demon Souls... The Maiden in Black, although that one is a personal favorite of everyone's, including me. Uh, she just kind of does stuff at the end. And then Shanalot, or whatever her name is, in Dark Souls 2, she does a little bit more. And then in Dark Souls 3, you can get your Maiden to do quite a bit in terms of story. But Melina definitely is the most active. The fact that you can summon her, I really like that, though that tornado kind of looks bonk, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like it's made of, like, marshmallows or something. Oh yeah, we have... These are enemies we fought as bosses, you guys remember? This, I think this was, what the, yeah, okay. I'm about to immediately get stun locked into oblivion. Yeah, so this guy was the first dungeon boss of the game. Like Beastman, I think it's called. And man, is he annoying to fight. Cool. I'm looking for a side of grace, by the way. Yeah, they're, they stun easily. I do appreciate the power trip, though. Um, you gotta have that in a Souls game, right? Or you meet enemies that were used, that were considered bosses previously. Just like absolutely demolish them. And so I'm assuming, judging by what the other dude said, what was his name? Shibriri. I'm guessing that's where you can get the game to diverge with the endings. Because he said that you can save the Maiden somehow. But that dude didn't exactly come across as benevolent. Right? Who knows? Who knows? I heard that there is quite a few endings to this game, but there is one which, from what I've heard, is like the Mass Effect one, where you can just like change the the filter, and then I think there is like three actual endings. Uh, before we do anything else, like we are at the end of this episode, so what I'm gonna do is let's go back to the round table hold and see what happens. 
Oh, is it empty? What up? Cool. Uh, do you not? You'd force this tired old oh. to work even now. I want to see what you can get from the have I never met. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. What do you get? Giant's red braid. It's a whip. It's gonna suck. Hefty whip woven from the flame red hair of a fire giant. Every giant is red of hair and Radigon was said to have despised his own red locks. Perhaps that was a curse of their kind. And we have Burn... Oh, oh this is... Um, Firestorm. Raises a series of flame pillars around the caster. Yep, yep, yep. The fire giants borrowed from the power of a fell god and still they were defeated. Yet their failure released them from their solitary curse to, s to, f to serve as keepers of the flame for eternity. Yeah, okay, cool. Um... New equipment? Nah. I can use up the, uh, the 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 soul. It's thirty k only. Yeah. Okay. Corin's Bell. Oh, so everybody's dead. Everybody that was here. Oh no! 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 Interesting, so the round table So the round table this version is inside the earth tree I'm guessing Interesting interesting uh, th This guy says the same thing. I'm not gonna unshackle anybody especially not you We'll visit that one in a bit The blacksmith is who I need really Oh fuck. So you cannot Oh that sucks. So once you're past this well that would have been good to know. Once you're past this point, everyone just disappears. It would have been good to level up my shit, but Oh well. Oh it's D. Yeah, um, I guess that's not much more we can do. I'll have a look around. Still, uh, oh, you're here. Please, it's pathetic, I know, but... Oh, there was some dialogue there. We'll talk to her in a bit. Mm, sorry about your furniture. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'll start ramping up the episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. This really does feel like the ending. Um, this very much feels like it. So I'm assuming we have... Oh, oh, thank fuck. I was really scared for a second. I'll do that. Exactly. I agree with you, Roderica. If that is any comfort, I can't level up anything. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, please leave. I don't want you to die.
It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. Sounds anime. Very anime. Why am I still doing this? Like I don't I'm invested now. Yeah, uh, not sure if that's the end of that quest line, but we're going to keep checking back. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, really. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.